I'm Santa Claus. Hi, welcome to the Mama Mary Show. Today, I would like to talk about how I almost ruined Christmas for my entire community. Our complex was having a Kringle mingle last weekend, and of course, I was on the planning committee. So I have to have my hand in all parties that I'm involved with. And we didn't have a Santa costume this year um, that we had in the past. So I was like, oh, I can find one. And I thought I'd just pull resources from my, one of my theater connections. Um, and I did. And I found one. And so I'm like, I got one. Score. I'm going to be the hero. The night before the party, I go pick up the costume. It's totally wrapped neatly in a white bin. It's totally perfect. I drop it off to who's going to play Santa. And the night of the party, I see the guy who's going to play Santa and we're like, wink, wink, you know, tap, 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 or whatever Santa does. And he goes to put on his costume. And then a couple minutes later, I see his wife and a couple other people chit chatting, like really serious look on their face. So I walk over and everything is everything okay. And they can't find the beard for the costume. Oh crap. I didn't check the damn box for the beard. I didn't go through and take inventory on the costume. It's just like, I never check my bag when I'm leaving for the drive through to make sure my order's there. I never check it, and invariably, they always forget something, usually my sauce, which really pisses me off. This time, the beard's gone. Okay, Santa cannot be Santa without a freaking beard, right? So, I'm panicking, and I'm like, really? I double check, I go in there, I'm tearing through everything, <clears throat> no beard. So on the way back to the party, I'm thinking, this is great, because we didn't tell anybody that was Santa was coming. It wasn't on the flyer, we kept it total secret, none of the kids were even expecting him. So I get back to the party area and there's like six kids lined up in chairs facing the walkway. Crisscross applesauce, big smiles on their faces like, <gasps> and I'm thinking, oh my God, what are they waiting for? And Lily looks at me and she's like, mommy, Santa's coming in five minutes. Oh crap. So I walk over and I'm like, Santa's not coming to all the ladies sitting over there. And my husband was sitting there and Steve says, they're not, he's not coming. I just told Lily he's coming. I'm like, Why did you tell Lily he's coming? Well, apparently, while I was gone doing the costume, checking for the beard, there was rumblings that Santa was coming. So Steve told Lily, Santa's coming. And then Lily told the entire party, everybody, Santa's coming. So all the kids were waiting for freaking Santa. Oh, crap. And I was not a good sport about this at all. I totally had this look like, I'm going to kill somebody. Like, it was my fault, really but I totally wanted to blame somebody else. So I was like, Steve, <clears throat> it wasn't Steve's fault. I wanted to blame Steve really bad, but it wasn't his fault. But it turns out I had goodie bags that I had purchased for everybody that Santa was gonna give out, but I gave them out. And I also brought Toy Story 3 to the party. So guess what I did? I redirected their attention. I said, hey kids, Santa can't come, but you get goodie bags and you get Toy Story 3 and you get cookies. Woo, woo. They all forgot, except for the one girl that was like, oh, I want to see Santa. Except for her, all the other kids were totally excited. So the moral of the story is, don't leave a drive-thru without checking your bag first. Happy holidays. Ho, ho, ho.